pure oh. serotonin. Is this what happens when you go outside on a regular basis? It is serotonin time. Ah. Hey everyone, Monique here and Steve. Steve. And today we are going to give you the photographer's tour of Trail Ridge Road. We got to Rocky. We were a little waylaid by some moose. We'll show you that. But we're going to show you just half of Trail Ridge Road. We're going to stop at, we're going from Asses Parkside to Alpine Visitor Center. We're not going all the way to Grand Lake on this particular video, uh, but we're going to stop at all of the overlooks and tell you what you could possibly see and photograph. So there's animals and vistas at each one of these places. And I'm noting down the miles too. So I'll put that on screen or we'll tell you how many miles it is between. Um, so there are main points on Trail Ridge Road. We are now at the Beaver Ponds, and I call this a bonus stop. This, we need to replace this shirt. This is That's missing. Nice green. It's missing buttons. This is, I can't do this. Wardrobe malfunction! How did you do this to me? Stick it on this hat, like right there. There. I that, think, I think it's work. a vibe. Oh my god. It's a vibe? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can keep my phone. Oh, goody. I'm gonna take lots of selfies on it. All right. I like it. Steve. Steve. Okay, just so you know, you're in the shot right there. Okay. <laughs> you're okay. Courageous. You're okay. Oh. Steve? Yep. Focus. I'm focusing. So Beaver Ponds just kind of dead ends right where we're standing. It's just like a block. <laughs> it's not very far. It has a nice little creek. If you were able to stumble upon something, that's fine. But there's really not much to see down here. So I call Beaver Pond Stop a bonus stop. Well, it's, it's a nice little indentation in the valley. Mm -hmm. Lots of green. And I would not be surprised if you saw an occasional moose here. It's or the, elk. the terrain is right. Yeah, yeah. So, good point. And elk, you'll see, you'll be surprised about them everywhere until you're not surprised by them anymore. <laughs> elk are everywhere. So, um, as we go along, I'll tell you some of these things too. Um, and we'll have chapters on this video so you could follow along. And we're also going to have a download in the description so that you can have all of this information as well. So, there's a link for that in the description. So Trail Ridge Road, highest continuously paved in the United States, road in the United States. It's um, 48 miles, but again, we're only doing half of that. We're going from the Deer Ridge Junction turn inside Rocky Mountain National Park all the way to Alpen Visitor Center. That is the track we're going to show you for your, your trip and your photography. Keep in mind, Trail Ridge Road is only open during the warm season. They try to open it. Memorial Day weekend and they keep it open till about beginning to mid-October <laughs> completely dependent on weather. Yeah. Uh, yeah after you get so many feet of snow they just can't keep the roads open anymore. Yeah yeah <laughs> so a huge chunk of the year this is not at all accessible and there was huge barricades and so uh, keep that in mind this is a summertime trek. Um, a couple other things you're gonna have amazing views from the car. So really accessible for if you're bringing anyone who has mobility issues or maybe elderly or little kids who don't want to do a big walk. So, so many things you can see from your car or from the pull-offs and you'll see that. Yeah. So well, I love that. Yeah, where we're at here now is wheelchair accessible. Yeah, there's a nice so, boardwalk. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, so awesome thing about Trailridge Road and I've seen a lot of people post, is it scary? <laughs> we don't think so, but we're, we live here. But once you get above tree level, it's really just kind of almost like a wide open meadows. It's not scary. So in my opinion, this is not a scary road. And it is just two lane and some areas are a little bit steep. So you don't want to pull a big rig up here. No. Just bring your car. 
We are going to talk about the wildlife you could see here, but there is no guarantee. This is not a zoo. This is a wild area. Uh, we just stopped at Sheep Lakes before this, and there was two moose in there, which that's the first time I've ever seen that. Mm -hmm. Usually you can see some elk in there. So there's really no guarantee, but we're going to tell you the things that we see almost every time. So you can look for them just in case. That said, you can see elk pretty much anywhere and moose pretty much anywhere and deer. Deer will jump in the road. <laughs> if you see a lot of cars parked on the side of the road, there could be something there, which is what happened with the moose today at Sheep Lakes that we didn't think there was anything in there, maybe an elk, and it was moose. So that was a treat. Mm -hmm. You just, you never know. So keep that in mind. This is not a wildlife, you know, sanctuary or anything. They're just wild, okay? Uh, but we'll tell you. Some things I want you to note that I tell you in all these rocky videos, you are at elevation, uh, which means a mile to two miles up, we're gonna stop at a sign where you can stop and you can be two miles up. Uh, elevation from sea level. Um, elevation sickness is real. <laughs> Drink tons of water. You still wanna wear sunscreen, which I think we forgot today, but th we're doing a really quick driving tour just for you today. We're trying not to get waylaid. <laughs> elevation sickness is a thing. Don't ignore the sing symbol, singles. Signals? Signals. Symptoms. <laughs> symptoms. Don't ignore the symptoms. Drink a ton, a ton of water. Drink enough water that you think you need and then drink some more. All right. Snow is possible every day of the year. We have our jackets in the car. It could be snowy at the Alpen Visitor Center today in August. Keep that in mind. It can also be really windy and we're in luck today. But again, above tree line, it could be really windy. So if you're bringing tripods, keep that in mind. It could blow over. So stay close. You will need a park pass, a Rocky Mountain National Park park pass, all times of day, all times of year. During the high season, you will also need a timed entry ticket during certain hours. And we have an entire video about that somewhere up in here. Uh, Katie will put it on the screen for us. Keep that in mind. If you're coming into Rocky Mountain National Park in the high season, uh, May through August, to October, you will need a timed entry ticket, okay? Check out all the details there. We were here at 7 a.m., so at that point, for the main part of the park, we didn't need it, but you always need your park pass. Don't park in the road. <laughs> uh, there are plenty of pull-offs. Please don't park in the road, that's really dangerous. And as we go, I'll tell you again, like what wildlife we can see, but here's some things that we've actually seen in the park. Uh, deer, elk, huge herds of elk, moose, uh, chipmunks, Pika, pika, marmots, lots of marmots, magpies, crows. I saw a bald eagle a couple of weeks ago. Lots of hummingbirds and turkeys. Um, one time I did see a fox, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. I did see a coyote one time. Uh, there are bears and mountain lions up here. If you go hiking up into you know, the high country, be prepared for that. I have not seen them. They're very rare, but they are here. So if you're worried about encountering bear or mountain lions, staying on Trail Ridge Road is pretty safe. You'll be fine. What do I need to add? I see a hummingbird behind us. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is bonus stop number one at Beaver Ponds. Next stop is Hidden Valley. Okay. Which is also a bonus stop. But I put it on there because there's a little bit to see and there's bathrooms. So you ready to go to Hidden Valley now? Let's go get hidden. Let's hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. This is so exciting. I can't wait to show everyone the tour. The photographer's tour. Yes. yes. Okay. Assistant, please. Oh, thank you so much. And I got my coffee and I got my camera. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where are we? Actually, you can move up a little bit. <laughs> We're just standing in the parking lot at Hidden Valley. And this is one of the bonus stops because it's not really a landscape photography spot or wildlife so much, but there is a bathroom with running water and there's some picnic areas, a creek. There are some really nice places to just meander. Yeah. So I put Hidden Valley as a bonus stop. There's a bunch of history here too, where it used to be a ski location resort thing. 
Um, there's like a junior ranger spot here. I don't know the status right now, but anything mm -hmm. you want to add? There are a couple of trailheads here. And actually, I like this place in the wintertime because the, the streams up the valley yeah. a little bit have some really nice, uh, intimate nature shots, if and, you will. Yeah, frozen water. Frozen water. Yeah, yep. you can um, cross country here too. Yeah. So, yeah. Although in the wintertime, lots of people bring their kids up here for sledding also. Yeah, there's a huge parking lot yeah. here. So it's and, a good it's, stop for it's, picnics. It's almost open all year round. Yeah. I've never seen it closed because of snow. Good point. So. Yes. All right, cool, moving on. All right, this stop is called Many Parks Curve, and there's about three parking spots right here. Uh, but we'll go further down the road and show you the parking lot at the end around the corner. On the other side, yeah. Yeah, so there's a parking spot lot for, I don't know, 20 or 40 cars. And you can cross the street at a crosswalk and come along the walkway here, we'll show you. There's the crosswalk and parking lot. We'll cruise through real quick. No bathrooms. No bathrooms at this stop. Thank you for reminding me. So there's a few parking spots. And there's a van with a few stickers on the back. A couple stickers. And you can see the gate right there, which Ooh. is where the road is closed when the road is closed. This is typically, if the Trail Ridge Road is going to be closed, this will be your last stop. We were here in mid-April. This was definitely last stop. Yep. This was all covered in snow, and this is as far as we can get on Trail Ridge Road. But we could get to at least here in April. Now, this spot is known for its vistas. And okay. we'll show you all along here. It's so pretty. Yeah. What you can see here is Moraine Park, Upper Beaver, Meadow, Beaver Meadows, and Horseshoe Park Meadows, and Deer Mountain and Longs Peak, kind of depending on where you're looking. Uh, so this is really, really known for its landscape photos. Yep. Uh, one thing, the definition of park here is basically uh, a broad valley. Yeah. Usually in, in Rocky Mountain National Park, it's usually been cut out by glaciers. So nice kind of a rounded bottom in the valley with yeah. steep sides. So it's not a park like with, <laughs> you know, kids play equipment. It's a valley. So this is going to get real busy real quick. It's 830 on a Sunday morning. So yep. uh, this is cool. Kids love to climb up here. Saturday um, morning. Actually. And just Saturday, sorry. And it's just a really, really... A uh, pretty spot. Yeah, and we'll show you some more vistas. Yeah, we'll walk yeah. down here. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> Wave! <laughs> Hi, honey. Okay, this is bonus stop. The sign, the sign says two miles above sea level. Two miles above sea level, 10,560 feet. We always stop for a really goofy selfie here, such as this, with Steve's little nose and fingers sticking up. We take it from over there, though, but I don't want my camera in the road. So this is a great bonus stop. Um, We'll put down the miles, how far it is from the last stop, because you're gonna think you missed it a couple of times. There's a couple little turnouts for the view and you'll think you missed it, but here it is. I swear, it's still here. <laughs> so we're gonna get our goofy selfies. Everybody ready? Okay, Steve, get in here. Can we do it? <laughs> we love our goofy selfies. Yay, okay, on the road again. Look at the flowers, they're so pretty. <sighs> They bring me so much joy for no reason. Pure oh. serotonin. Is this what happens when you go outside on a regular basis? It is serotonin time. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, we are now at Rainbow Curve and this has a bathroom. We're standing right next to it and lots of parking and beautiful views. Yeah. So from Rainbow Curve, you can see down into Horseshoe Park, Beaver Ponds, somewhere the alluvial fan. Uh, it's just around the corner. Just around the corner. So yeah. there's a big sweep that you can walk along here. And then we can also see back down into Sheep Lakes. Um, so really beautiful vista and bathroom and nice place to stop. One thing uh, wildlife wise that you'll probably see is the little chipmunks and the Clark's Nutcracker birds. Uh, one came right up close to us, but oftentimes they're sitting on the top of these little pines. That's pretty special. Please don't feed them. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a little late in the day right now um, for landscape, but if you were here early, this would be a great, great spot to watch the sunrise too. Oh yeah. You wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because this was, we're kind of northeast facing right now. The, yeah. the camera's looking northeast. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great place to stop. Just a chicken, can you not understand the concept of love? But I love you. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she was talking to this chipmunk just like I do. <laughs> about love. <laughs> in case your viewers wanted proof that I'm this chaotic all the time and I don't just put up a face for the camera. <laughs> But what you told it like I love you. <laughs> yeah. No chipmunks don't understand the concept of love. But I. I, I oh, burb. Anyway. <laughs> you did it anyway. That's right. Here's one of the Clark's Nutcrackers. They're here a lot. Jeez, he's getting really close. Someone's feeding him, huh? <laughs> so. Okay. We're, we're noticing way down there is sheep's lake, sheep lakes, and there's still a lot of cars, so those moose must still be down there. Very cool. Uh, this is Forest Canyon Overlook, I believe. And the, way off in the distance, there is a herd of elk. But I know that going along Trail Ridge, there's nowhere to stop and see that. I'm on a narrow path here, so I'm going <laughs> to stop as needed. Um, it's gotten a little bit windy. Let me show you. Well, you don't hold cameras. Do you want to hold camera? Yeah, oh, look at you go. <laughs> Character development right here. <laughs> so this is a short path in the parking lot. But if you're not used to elevation, you're going to feel it right here. Uh, so if you feel out of breath on the short walk, that's why it's pretty high elevation, um, but it's short, it's paved, it's really accessible. My sister came up here in her Crocs in the snow, um, and there's usually a lot of marmots playing in here. And this is where you're gonna see all the tundra flowers. There's about 200 different types of tundra plants, but they're very fragile, the growing season's short. So never step off the trail here because those flowers will take years and years and years to grow back. And you can see how the wind has picked up too. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of close to my video camera so it doesn't fall over. Uh, but this is a great place to see marmots and like a 360 degree view. I left Steve back there trying to photograph the elk. Uh, let me get my notes here. What can you see here? Uh, Long's Peak, Stone's Peak, the Icy Blue Gorge Lakes, which you can see over there, Hayden Gore and Hayden Gorge. Really just kind of almost everything. This is this is one of my favorite stops. If the marmots are out, you're going to super enjoy watching them play and run around and interact. This is a, st a stop you want to take some time on, especially if you're trying to get to use the elevation too. This is a great, once you get down the trail, <laughs> you can pause. Just over there is a nice little place to, to sit. Let's go take a look. So a lot of times we'll see them sitting on that rock, the marmots, 
So you get this amazing view of mountains behind them. There's one just down below the wall here. Uh, well, thank you so much for posing. We appreciate you. This is fantastical. Okay, you're too close for this lens though, I'm thinking. It's okay, I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay, it's a little bit windy. <laughs> so this is a uh, Forest Canyon Overlook. We only saw like two marmots. It's morning, so we see no more of them when we come up here in the late afternoon, evening. So consider that if you want to see a lot of marmots, you'll usually see at least one, uh, but it could be an afternoon critter. Uh, but the bonus was uh, the herd of elk, which is really great. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is a really great place to stop, and this is actually where we're going to stop for us today. But keep watching because we're going to give you the last few stops on the video, but we have to head home. So we'll be back up tomorrow, and we'll do the rest of the trek. Anything you want to talk about in this location? Not really, no. Okay. The, the panoramas are amazing, and the marmots are amazing. Yeah. Um, actually, what I was looking at this morning, too, was some of the textures and colors in the rocks yeah. on the cliffs on the side. So if you've got a long lens, you can just focus on those. Uh, which gives you some interesting uh, close-ups. And the wildflowers are awesome in about late July, August. So it's like yeah. second, second spring, which is really nice. Yeah. yeah, so lots of photo ops at this particular point. <sighs> So uh, it's getting bright and it's getting busy. So we're gonna be back up here like seven in the morning tomorrow to continue it, but stay tuned. Uh, if you wanna know any of the photo tips, that's what most of our channel is about. And you're welcome to check out all of those videos as well. We talk about all our gear. Today, Steve is shooting with the, show him, A7R4. I've got the- And the 200 to 600. Yes, and I've got the Sony uh, A1 also with the 200 to 600. Steve has also used the wide angle for some of the, Landscape shots. Yeah. Yes. All right, we'll pick it up in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> group of bighorn we've seen this morning. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, lucky. Yeah. Okay, we have to turn around because we're on our way to Rocky, so we're gonna see him one more time. Okay. Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. Yay! Love that. Oh, oh my gosh. Ta-da! Okay, it's the next day. It's around 7.30 a.m. 7.40, and it's a lot windier and chillier. Uh, but here we are the next day. And part of the reason we wanted to come up here twice is just the light so much better. We wanted to show you good light the rest of this way. And when I was talking about the ever-changing weather, it usually changes in the afternoon. <laughs> so I didn't want to get stuck in a storm. Uh, but this is the same Forest Canyon Overlook, so pretty. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's got to wake up still. He's got to wake up. And More coffee. And it's windy, um, but I might try this. So we did not introduce our um, director of chaos yesterday, Steve's daughter, Emmy. She is here. It's so windy. She's holding the camera. There's her hand. Uh, you'll <laughs> see her, but she started off as the um, assistant yesterday and quickly became the director of chaos. So we love that for her. She's the one taking all the fun selfies you'll see in this video. Are we ready? We are always ready. Yes. We got a coffee. Yeah. Got uh, coffee. Sunlight. 
Yeah. We have views, vistas. It's so pretty. Details, everything. Everything, okay. Uh, so we're gonna head to the next stop on Trail Ridge Road. Uh, I did wanna mention too, there is a parallel road called uh, Fall River Road. And um, for the people who think that this road is scary, that road is actually scary. It is um, gravel, there's hairpin turns, uh, steep drop-offs, and I don't think there's quite as much to see, but if you ever wanna yeah. see a video of Fall River Road, type it in the comments and we'll consider doing yeah. a video like this of that road there as well. There are signs saying four-wheel drive only, although yep. it's not that bad. Yeah, um, I've taken my CRV up there, Subarus, of course. I took a pickup there once and we had to kind of, get that around the corner pick up. Yeah. yeah wow so anyway off to the next stop here on trail ridge road ah! Yay. okay bye oh i mean let's keep going <laughs> Oh, all right. <laughs> we are trying to get out of the wind. I'm kind of regretting we didn't just do the whole thing yesterday. Ah, okay, this is one of my favorite stops. Where are we? Rock Cut. Rock Cut. <laughs> it, was, it would come to him. <laughs> We're at Rock Cut. I know the sun is like right behind us, but this is the best place out of the wind. Uh, Rock Cut has a lot of parking. It has two sets of bathrooms. Uh, no running water, just, you know, pit toilets, but that's fine. And Rock Cut is, I forgot to mention, another animal you can see up here would be bighorn sheep. So if you're on the other side of the road, not the bathroom side, the other side, and there's a lot of cars, there could be bighorn sheep on this little flat area just below the wall. There's not right now. Um, I, showed you, <laughs> I showed you some video of that spot. Uh, usually, uh, if you see them, there could be marmots running around too. We did see some bighorn sheep on our way up here this morning in the Thompson River Canyon. Uh, so that was, at least we've seen Bighorn today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is where you could probably see, if you're going to see Bighorn sheep, you would see them here in that little spot. They just like to lick the rocks right there. Uh, but the other cool thing about Rock Cut is all the marmots. There's two of them right behind us right now and pika and the amazing view. So what can you see from Rock Cut? Uh, oh, I have Long's Peak. I don't know what the rest of the peaks are. Sorry, I didn't write all that down. Uh, I was trying to decide whether Rock Cut or Lava Cliffs was the highest point of this. And there's a little bit of, I'm, I'm not sure when I was looking it up, but we're pretty close to the highest point at 12,111 uh, 10 feet. So that's awesome. And the other cool thing about Rock Cut is there's this trail, uh, Toll Memorial Trail. And so you could walk along this Alpen Tundra Trail. Again, your elevation uh, is going to get to you, but it's cool mm. because they have little signs along the path that you can stop and read the signs. <laughs> Which is when I... <laughs> yeah, that way you don't like, look like you're gasping for breath. <laughs> That's where you catch your breath. <laughs> so uh, we're up here kind of early because I want to do that a little and hopefully we don't blow away. But again, uh, some really, really cool views. Uh, the pika are generally out here gathering all kinds of uh, flowers and grasses. Uh, the marmots are everywhere. The mountain views are incredible. And if you can get, um, I don't think it's very far up this trail. Once you get to the top, there's some other cool rock formations and you can look through to another set of mountain ranges. I've actually seen a weasel up in there once. He was too quick for me to photograph, but it was super cool. Yeah, uh, so that is the plan. Oh, I see a bird floating. Uh, uh, crow. Crow, yeah, probably a crow, yeah. Uh, there's no tables here, but it'd be a great place to have a snack. We brought more peaches, Colorado Palisade peaches today. Um, bathroom stop, I love, uh, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, what do you think? It's nice. It's nice? It's nice. Yeah. This is also where I saw a bald eagle last time, a couple yeah. weeks ago, uh, which is pretty rare. I don't ever see them up here. So it's kind of the top of the world yeah. tundra. Actually, this is nice, great. It, it's, there is no bad place to stop in Rocky Mountain National Park. That's true. But the vistas, if you're into grand vistas, this is a stop. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice in the morning, nice in the evening, if you oh, get some yeah. clouds in the sky. Yeah. Oh yeah. The evening storms here, uh, you're a little exposed. Like don't be outside during the afternoon of a tree level like this if a storm's coming through with lightning. Um, but the clouds really roll in. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. But there's a lot to do at this one particular yeah. stop. Whether you're just looking from your car or you take this little bit of a walk up the trail, I think this one, uh, give yourself some extra time at Rock Cut, is what I guess I'm trying yeah. to say. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go down the trail. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go. What, why are you at the bathrooms? Dude. <laughs> We left our director of chaos in the car. Too cold and windy for her. Oh, you definitely, definitely want to listen to your body when you're up here, especially if you've just arrived in Colorado. This elevation. Oh, so go slow, drink all your water. Make a lot of stops, catch your breath. <sighs> or just skip this trail. There's plenty to see without hiking. So keep your eyes open in little rock places like this, because that will be where you're going to see some little pikas, potentially. And then these boulder fields here, there's actually, I'm looking at two marmots right now, and they scamper through here a lot. And if they position themselves just right, you can get the mountain range behind them. Really cool shot. It's a little more difficult with the big ones today um, because the wind is catching it. <laughs> so the wind will catch it. Oh, there goes a burb. And the wildflowers are also amazing up here. Oh, here's the three, uh, if you turn 180, this is the view from this side. And more of those little rock areas that something could be popping around in. But look at that, my goodness. It's worth taking the time to slowly walk up here. Marmot. Hello. All right, so when you get this far up the trail, we're getting to where you can walk up in there. That's when you get a new view of mountains. I have seen elk just down in here. Remember I said how I've seen elk on the other side? Bing, there they are. There's the elk. Nice. So I just climbed up like five steps or something. It's not far. Wow. <laughs> you can kind of see why we say bring a jacket. It's supposed to be about 90 in town and like the Denver area today and a high of 70 here. <laughs> So depending on what kind of weather you're used to, this lightweight hoodie is fine for me, uh, but bring a puffy jacket. Okay, prime example of you never know what you're gonna see here at Rock Cut. I did one last look to see if we could find bighorn sheep and there was a coyote. Very cool. And we also says, very cool. Yes, very cool. Got a selfie with it. Very good. Yes, nice. obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, I put the, <laughs> the camera right next to the car because of the wind. This is the Lava Cliffs Overlook. Uh, my least favorite stop. Well, there's some water at the bottom. Glacier uh, melting. Yeah. And occasionally you'll see elk, actually probably frequently, you'll see elk down in the valley Way here. Down. So this is where it'd be great to have binoculars and a really long lens. There mm -hmm. is this glacier and a meadow, and then there's a lake and a lake kind of far over there. I'll show you some footage. Uh, so I've seen elk all in here, uh, but otherwise like vistas and stuff, not really. But yep. this is lava, Lava Cliffs Overlook. If you have an interest in geology, we have lava cliffs. Uh, so. And there's always snow here, which is fun. Yep. It's just, it's, it's different. And there's not as many people here in this spot usually, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. location gore range overlook super <laughs> windy but beautiful this is our last stop before the alpin ridge visitor center it doesn't mean there's not any more pull-offs but this is the last like official kind of stop with a lot of parking uh fun fact about this location exactly one year ago we were up here in the evening or afternoon it was yeah huge Late evening. Huge, huge, huge herd of elk. We came around the corner like, whoa, uh, and lots of babies. Uh, that was, There's a video here on this channel, but I'll show you a clip too. Uh, and they were in this parking lot and they were over here. They were, oh, they're like elk everywhere. It was so cool. Uh, so you never know again what you might see here. There's not any right now, but the view is beautiful. There's even a couple puffy white clouds. So a pano, you know, landscape photos in here are gorgeous. Um, there's a little bit of a lake down there. Is that Milner Lake, Miller Lake, something like that? There's a trail head at the visitor center to walk on. But really, really gorgeous spot. What do you think, Steve? Yep. <laughs> no, really this is an, an amazing vista here. It is. Yes. Uh, a little bit of color in the rocks, so you can get some nice contrast there. This is really windy most of the time, though. Yeah. We were up here, what, two years ago, Emmy? And it was so windy and so rainy and so cloudy. We didn't even get out of the car. Also in uh, July or August. Yeah, that's, and that's one of the bad, good points about being above tree line here is this afternoon, late afternoon, you can get clouds rolling in. You can get some really interesting shots if you don't get struck by lightning. Yeah, there's so. that. There's <laughs> yeah, little, little, little risk, but yeah. you get the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely stop here. You don't know what you might see. Gore Range, George Gore. Yeah, for ah. George Gore, the what the sign says, an Irish aristocrat oh. who came here hunting back in the late 1800s. Not our current gore. <laughs> okay then, all right, okay. woo, wow. <laughs> okay.
All right, there is the visitor center, Alpine Visitor Center. And this is the Miller Milner Pass Trail. All right, we made it to the tippity top uh, at the Alpine Visitor Center. I believe this is the highest national park visitor center in the in, lower 48. Yep. Yeah, uh, I think that's true. <laughs> This is where we're going to stop our tour, but you can go another 20, 22 miles. Keep going. You'll cross the Continental Divide um, and you'll get down into the West Slope, which is a lot more opportunity to see moose potentially. You'll end up at Grand Lake. Grand Lake? Grand Lake. Yeah, and you can go further and get to Granby Lake. Really pretty. When I go all the way through, I like to do that and get some ice cream down there and sit by the lake. Beautiful. Uh, but we're, we're going to stop the tour here. Uh, there is a trail that goes to the top of the hill that we might do. Yeah, we ended up climbing the massive amount of stairs. Worth it. Yep. Worth it. We On top it. of the world. Top of the world. This is gorgeous view. So nice. So nice. Whoosh. There's some beautiful views from the gift shop and the visitor center. I think that's a crow that's or a, a raven. Crow. Yeah, uh, some really nice views. A lot of times you can see the elk from over there. We'll show you that. It's just kind of crowded with a lot of people right now. Um, so uh, from the Alpine Visitor Center, you can view uh, the Fall River Cirque. Did I say that right? C-I-R-Q-E. Yep. It closes earlier than you think, so if you want a snack or ibuprofen or Tylenol or something, you need to come by about 4 in the afternoon. I think it closes by 4. It closes by 4. The snack bar doesn't have a lot. <laughs> there's not a lot of snack, yeah. but there's some, and it's a really pretty gift shop. Yeah. Well, I think burgers and hot dogs are about what it has. There's snacks, a tiny little coffee stand. There's usually kind of a long wait. It's expensive. There is no cell service up here. No matter how much you think there is, there is not. <laughs> Don't even try. No cell service. Here is the bathroom. Uh, oh, I've seen herds of elk down yeah. below the visitor center. So you well, can see. we've even seen them back oh, just off true. the off the trail here. But it's nice if so. the weather is kind of bad. You can go inside and see them and have some lunch from the cafeteria, which is really nice. Oh, and this sweatshirt. I got it there <laughs> a year or so ago. Uh, so this is a very fast tour, photography tour of Trail Ridge Road uh, from the east side of the park. Uh, there is so much more to see. It took us about three hours this morning and that's with very few stops. Same three or four hours yesterday, although we did get, we stopped for about an hour for a moose. So that's like the super fast tour. So you can imagine if you only have six hours just it's going to be not enough time, but you might see something. And some of these mm -hmm. smaller trails, this is four miles. A lot of these just go to the top of like a hillside. Uh, so there yeah. are little spots you can hike and go off trail along Trail Ridge Road. But even just doing Trail Ridge Road, the 22 miles, it's going to take you all day. <laughs> Trust me, all day. Okay. You can see the fall river road wiggle throughout the hills back there that's the alternate drive uh, we'll have this with the mileage and a map and what you could see everything that we've gone over in the description uh, there's will be a link that you can just download this take it with you what i've noticed uh, in my all the years i've been coming up here when i first started coming up here the grand vistas were wonderful except they're really difficult to take a picture of get a nice panorama yeah but I what I'm finding as I keep coming up here is I get more interested in the details mm. the, the the way the rocks have been folded around yeah. uh, like don't get don't get me is? around the, the the grand vistas are still good when you get good light and clouds they're amazing yeah but the the little details are starting to become um, I'm becoming more aware of them and they're becoming more interesting so yeah I, I and I'm all about the wildlife <laughs> so I'm like okay Grand Vista but I can't really capture it that well maybe you if you're a landscape photographer will do a better job than me uh, but the light and the clouds have to be just right but you're gonna see yeah. something awesome no matter what there's no bad day in Rocky there will be something to photograph no matter what yes again I want to tell you bring water take breaks, bring layers, be prepared for any weather, do not stop in the road, don't harass or feed the animals. 
What have I missed? Walk slow. Be, oh, walk slow. Be nice to the park rangers for oh, sure. Yes. They are short staffed. If you come up in September during elk rut, there'll be a lot more rangers. They get volunteer rangers that come up and they will help make sure that you stay far from all the elk that are out and, and different, you know, wildlife. You don't want to disturb them. Uh, so be nice to the rangers, like Emmy says. Okay. <laughs> Our director okay. of chaos. Okay, come on over here, Emmy. Like, the camera might fall over, but it's worth it. Hopefully it's good. Everyone? Hi. Our director of chaos, <laughs> Emmy. Thank you. I yes. Okay. yes. Hit that thumbs up. Thumbs up. All of them. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, follow we'll, us. Yeah. Um, Do the follow. Look at all of our information about photography and cameras. There you go. If there's something we missed, type it, type it in the comments below. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go explore. Oh, snack. Yes. Snack. 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 Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>